ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. So today what we will be doing is we have this bug here that our good friend Matt got for us quite a while ago. We're going to be turning, turning it into our new anvil log because we've got a brassy old one in the um, workshop that's been there for god knows how many years. We've just taken all the bark off of it, um, yeah, got all the mud up the bottom. Um, so all we're going to be doing today is just levelling it out because it's a little bit tipped. Levelling it out and to get suitable for a proper anvil log. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Right, so all we're going to be doing at first is just taking this little nip off here, this little high point. Hopefully flatten this bottom piece out here so then we can look at what we have to deal with up here. So. Right, so our little high points on the bottom here and just make a little bit of a rock it's a little bit too small to cut with the saw it's going to be a little bit awkward so we've got a planer there and with the scribe all we're going to do is just knock it back and forth see where the high points are where it's contacting the ground and we're just going to scribe roughly where they are so we know where to plane do the same on the other side. Okay. Now, we'll look for the scribes. A couple here. So I'm just going to plane through there. Once right, so we just planed them, we're going to see if it's a bit better than it was. There's still a little bit in there. It's a lot more stable than it was. It still looks like it's just in between those scribe lines still. And we're just going to spin it around again. Right, so we've got the bottom all level, it's nice and level now, really any rocking. So what we're going to do is going to try and cut this as flush as possible with the um, log and we're going to, there's some saw marks on the top of it so we're just going to plane that so it's nice and flat. So we've got it all planed off now, nice and flat. Um, what's going to happen is we're going to get, we've got some cork, um, like sheeted cork in the workshop. We're going to place it on top of here, um, place the anvil on top, and later on I'm going to make some brackets for the feet of the anvil so we can bolt it in, so that should take up some of the wibble and the noise, hopefully. Right, so all we're going to do is we've got a flapper disc on the small angle grinder. We're going to just go over the whole thing, clean it up nicely. Right, so that's the whole thing nicely sanded up. Give it a wipe off. There you go, looking nice now. It's got all of the brown bark and stuff off it that I couldn't get off before. Um, clean up quite nicely. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of oil on it, furniture oil, just to make it stand out. And really nice, be the swankiest anvil log in history. <laughs> Right, so we've got some hardwood garden furniture oil. Okay. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit, put it with some tissue, and wipe around the log on the top of the log. It takes a few hours for a first coat and a few hours for a second. So we're gonna do about three coats. 
um, to make it look all nice and protected. I do the bo bottom of it a few times and then uh, I'll stick it in there. So, now here's the chore of moving the anvil. So we've got the swage block next to the anvil there. What we're going to do is we're going to try, and, or I'm going to try and shift the anvil onto the swage block and then we can easily move the logs from space to space. And then hopefully it'll be kind of easy to move this anvil onto the other log. to this new one. So we've got the old one, this one, which has probably been sat under that anvil for about 70 years. Um, so no wonder it's a bit wobbly in places. So we had to actually um, put some really old rusty cut up gun barrels underneath broken bits of this log so that it didn't tip over when something hit it. <laughs> so, um, because we've got bits missing from under here and under there. But this one is a lot taller, I must say. So the anvil will probably sit about this high-ish, kind of, about that high. Um, this one was, how much was it? 24 and a half cent uh, inches? I think so. 26, I think. 26 and a half. It's somewhere around that sort of area. Inches tall. Not sure how, this, how tall this one's going to be. Um, but it would be quite high, I think. Make so I don't have to bend down doing this all the time, like I can see up here, which would be quite nice. Right, so we've got a bit of cork, sheeted cork stuff here, which we're going to place on top of the anvil. So I'm going to cut a big square out of it, and I know it's going to be it's going to cover the surface face of the uh, anvil log. Then we're going to place the anvil on it, cut around it so that it's all nice and flush, and then um, hopefully take up. A bit, a bit off the shock. So. Classic man technique, sweep it under the rug, except we don't have a rug. <laughs> it's a Ford table. And that has now magically disappeared. Nicely done. Thank you. Now, we just need to place the anvil. On the lock. Three, two, one. Measurement, the height of it. So the last one was about 24 and a half inches or 26 and a half, something along those lines. This one is around, woo, about 
34 inches. That'll be it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn notifications on so you do not mess miss out on any new videos comment what you liked what project what projects you might um want me to take up um yeah i hope you have a good day good night wherever you are and bye bye